Assalamualaikum everyone and hello friends. This is my channel Shina Friend. I'm from my school and college and from English version. I'm a learner of Tisal Bangladesh. Today I'm going to discuss a proverb, knowledge is power. Well, before discussing the saying, I want to ask you that what is power and how power comes? Well, there's a lot of people around us in this whole world. We always see them talking about different kinds of powers. Some say I have state power, some say I have economic power, some say I have political power, I have state power, and so many powers. Well, power never ends. So today I'm going to talk about such a power which actually comes from knowledge. So knowledge is a power. Well, by using this power of knowledge, many people had become famous in this whole world. Well, Elvis Presley, we all know about him. So, when acquiring knowledge, he gave his first performance. But after his first performance, he was told that, you ain't going now for a son, you want to go back to drive a car. But who is he now? He is a legendary musician. He is the king of rock and roll in the field of music. Well, again, we all know about Steve Jobs. By acquiring his knowledge, he became the founder of a company. But at the age of 30, he was left devastated and depressed. When he was fired from his own company, he found it. Later on, he became the CEO, the chairman, and co-founder of Pell Company. What we all know about Thomas Edison. Who is he? He is the inventor of light bulb. But while he was going to school, while he was acquiring knowledge, while he was studying, he was told that he was too full to learn anything. But he, invent he invented the light bulb, but we are the users only. Well, guys, in this whole world, there are so many people who are acquiring knowledge, but Nowadays, now section of people are taking knowledge or acquiring knowledge for surviving only, for doing only jobs, for having, for increasing their material skills, their material development only. So a person who acquires knowledge for increasing skill in his material development is not fully educated. Well, you may ask me that, aren't they taking education? Of course they are taking, they're taking education, they're enhancing themselves, they're removing the darkness, of ignorance, they're enlightening themselves, but they're taking education up to a certain level only. They're not exceeding their level for acquiring knowledge. Of course, they're taking knowledge, but up to a certain level. But the matter of thinking is, when we will call knowledge power? Well, we all know about Bill Gates. Bill Gates is a worldwide man, but how? Well. Bill Gates also acquired knowledge like everybody else, but he used his knowledge in his practical life. He wanted to do something, he wanted to invent something by using his knowledge that he acquired. That is, he wanted to use this knowledge in his practical life. And he did so. He used his knowledge in his practical life and founded the biggest Microsoft company of the world. Now he became a worldwide man. He became a powerful man. Rather doing jobs, he is giving jobs to people. So he became a very powerful man in the world. So like Bill Gates, there are so many scientists who are discovering many things by using their knowledge in their practical life. And they are playing the role for the comfort of mankind. So they are called the creator in the realm of knowledge. But they are taking knowledge and doing something so that people can call them they are the inventor, they are the creator. That's the difference that when we we'll call knowledge as power and when we we'll call knowledge that it is only the knowledge. Because there are so many people, of course they are acquiring knowledge, but they are not using this knowledge in his practical life to invent something, to create something. But the person who by acquiring his knowledge is inventing something, is doing something creative, is really a powerful man because the knowledge gained by him or acquired by him can be called as power. So guys, I want to tell you that knowledge enhances us, knowledge removes the darkness of ignorance. As knowledge enlightens ourselves, that's why knowledge is called the light of soul. So we we'll all will acquire knowledge 
I want to reach my voice to the last man saying that we all will acquire knowledge but after acquiring knowledge we'll try to call ourselves as a creator that is we'll play the role of creator and inventor, developer, producer, composer and so on and one day we'll surely do so. Thank you. Thanks for watching my presentation. I will come up with my next presentation in my upcoming video. Till then, goodbye.